need you to feel I can't live without you again We'll say you'll stay We'll say you'll stay Cause I wanna dance and that starts with you And nobody else will do Oh, say that you'll stay with me This is Pop City with Bobby and Melissa, and we are here at restaurant 849. We have very, very important people sitting here with us. Christopher Turner, right here, he's the artist. And Armistead Moffin, thank you so much for being here. Yes. Pleasure. Our pleasure. So, go ahead. so tonight, we have this incredible exhibit here. And can you tell us a little bit about what the story is behind the work? So this is a, sort of a surreal um, series that I've been working on for the last year or so. And basically I'm putting people in sort of post-apocalyptic or dark settings and doing really complex lighting setups. And part of the intention is to uh, focus on our impact on the environment. And sort of, but I shot a, stuff, a, lot of, a bunch of the stuff out of the salt and sea and it was, it was a lot of fun. And your theme with your photo is the way that you take the photos is what type of music? Something in particular that's for you? Or is it something that you've learned? I mean, you have the dark and you have the light. It's very mysterious. Well, with all of these, it's uh, it's a car full of equipment mm -hmm. and a bunch of lights on location. And I'm very inspired by a photographer named Gregory Crutzen, who just does these amazing uh, setups with whole movie crews and lighting. And, um, his work is really beautiful, but it's more sort of the kind of uh, the theme is very different. Theme. And you chose the Salton Sea for what reason? I love the, the ruins out there. It's just really wonderful and gritty and uh, it's beautiful and eerie. And, and I think that's something I try to capture in my photography, which is stuff that's beautiful but also maybe a little bit dark. Makes a point, this work right behind yeah, you. It's, it's really kind of. Uh, what's the word? <laughs> Apocalyptic, but it also has that feeling of a classical ruin. Yes, it does. Oddly. It's um, like Rome. Yeah. <laughs> it was nice to try to tell a story, you know, exactly. to make people ask questions and try to figure out, you know, and tell their own stories. You know, with, with exactly. For the, especially for the one above, you see that handsome gentleman out there. I don't know who that is. <laughs> but uh, I, I we love... Yeah, you shaved for that one. I love the photo uh, with the reflection in there. Is there a story behind it? You know, it was just an idea I had. And when when I, I had uh, three or four guys that were helping me out, and the crew thought it was crazy as I was like shooting this. But it, it, once they saw the final image, everybody sort of got what I was going for. So. And the one thing that everybody needs to know is none of this is photoshopped. This is That's real. real. And the way that you shoot these photos, it just feels like you keep on popping out. Yeah. So you can really feel the texture. Yeah, I don't believe in putting in people or anything else into an image. I believe in capturing everything on location. I mean, I work with Photoshop for lighting and, you know, just, you know, fine-tuning images, but I don't believe in 
you know, I feel like it's more graphic design when you're putting elements into it. We'll be right back. Hey, did you ever hear from Michelob Ultra? I got it. So I'm training for this big role. It's a Michelob Ultra commercial. I'm the spokesman. I am Captain Michelob. I like beer! So sorry. This is yours. And relax. You gotta be fit. You gotta love Michelob Ultra. It's not like anyone else could do this. Name? Pardon? What is your name? Chris Pratt. Over there, bud. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Bunch of go-go from 10 a.m. Saturday and Sunday. The happiest happy hour, 11 to 7 daily. Get a three-course dinner for just $19.99. Welcome to it's always great to see you. Trio, where Palm Springs eats. Wave to Maryland and come to Lulu, the award-winning California bistro. Fabulous breakfast, a luscious three-course Sunday brunch, scrumptious dinners serving fresh fish, perfect steaks, pizzas, salads, and more. Something for everyone. A three-course special to savor from $15.99. The best all-day and night happy hour. There's always a party at Lulu in the heart of downtown Palm Springs on South Palm Canyon. Where are you guys? Get in here now. Find yourself downtown Palm Springs, California at the award-winning Pan Asian Museum. What are you having? I love the Asian tuna. The usual. Orange chicken. Any suggestions? The dog is awesome. I'll take that. Enjoy. Cheers. Cheers. The Wang. Your installation happened here at the restaurant 849. How did this come out? Well, I contacted a good friend of mine who actually um, helped me produce this series down here, and he's a videographer named uh, Dan Cardone, and um, he he's been in the desert here for maybe three or four years. And I contacted him and asked him for suggestions of where maybe where I should try to do a show, and he imme immediately mentioned John Pascal. And it's amazing because John's a phenomenal photographer. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and one of the co-owners, John and Willie, are wonderful. And it's such a great space. I'm really excited to have you both here. And Arm said, you know, you're the rock star here. I'm sure you'll have <laughs> your... I've never done that on screen. You've never done that. <laughs> well, I'm sure many people are looking forward to seeing your incredible work and speaking with you on your incredible work. You have the story in words and you have the story in photos, yes. and you're together. It's very complimentary. That's what appeals to me about Chris's work. It's all storytelling. You can stand in front of any one of those photographs and ask a dozen does things come to mind as to what might be happening. Have you, have you ever done any book signings in Palm Springs? Yes, I did one at Pride one year. Okay. At the camp. And that was a lot of fun. It's been about three years. It's been another one. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. We need you guys to be, come back. Yeah, Especially his new book is, came out last fall. Uh, That's right. Logical, Logical Family. family. So, That's yeah. a great title. Nice. Thank you. Now, how, what, what is the meaning behind that title? Uh, I coined it for a novel about 10 years ago. My tale of the city. And the character of my Tolliver is depressed about his family back in Florida. Because who is it? <laughs> <laughs> My sister's in Florida. And I'm, uh, we have long time. Florida. 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 She's good. <laughs> I agree. My sister's great. So no generalizing. Some of the other family in Florida. <laughs> but um, and the character in the book just says uh, he's depressed about his family and not being with him, not being on his side as a gay man. And she says, "Well, dear, you have your biological family, and then you have your logical family." Meaning all the people you've gathered around you over the years that do love you for who you are. Do you know, I just got chills listening to you tell that story. Because we all have one. Yes. We all have it, to one degree or another. Exactly. And uh, let's hope that we've all become your logical family now. It's been it's really nice meeting both of you and speaking. Thank you. We've had a good time. It's it's great getting to know you and your talents and just good nature. Yes. Oh, that's and so good. hopefully we here in Palm Springs can be your logical family now. I'm, I'll Whether you like it or not. Yeah. <laughs> Conditioning immediately. 
right. Well, pretty soon everybody's going to be pouring in yeah. for this this showing. Yeah. And how long will your work be? Uh, until the end of September. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's great. That's very impressive. So yeah. definitely come on down to 849 and see the gorgeous work of Christopher Turner and uh, have a cocktail or two. <laughs> Thanks again, you guys. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Live Magazine TV with Elizabeth Scarcella. Saturday, 3.30 p.m. on KPSE. Colorful interviews. Palm Springs Fun. Live Magazine TV. Take you to uh, somewhere we can see our my portraits in the sun. Strawberry fields forever. You can find me on Facebook and Instagram. This is my portrait of YouTube. Hello, I'm Elizabeth Scarcella from Live TV Magazine and I am here with Carissa Farley of Farley Paving and we are here for the Cover Magazine Party for this wonderful woman, Carissa Farley. We are going into the AC3 cover party for her. Come enjoy the show. Hello everybody, we are here at AC3 for the live magazine picture with Carissa Farley. Over at Farley Baby and we are also here with Tony, the owner of AC3 and the world famous trio. <laughs> Thanks Tony. <laughs> Watch Live Magazine TV every Saturday, 3.30 p.m. on KPSE, my TV.
Fine Art Gallery and El Paseo in Palm Desert. And right here, we have one of Elena's original pieces. And now we're going into AC for our inspiring interview with Tony Marchese. Come on, let's go. Thank you so much. I love this place. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here with you, Tony. Thank you. Yeah, this is really great because, as you know, this show is all about teaching people how to thrive. Yep. Why just survive when you can thrive? True. Yes, and so I want everyone to hear about the instances in your life where you could have just survived, you could have given up, but instead you decided to turn this into a way to thrive and teach others how to thrive. Yes. You're going to force me to tell my sad stories? <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're empowering stories. Yes, yes. So let's, let's go back um, to the time in Chicago when the collapse happened. So I was in Chicago. I had a great business. And I decided I'm going to move to Palm Springs. I could, do, I could sell real estate there. I sell real estate in Chicago. I can do it in Palm Springs. So anyways, I moved to Palm Springs. By the time I can get here full time, it was 2005. I can get my business organized in Chicago. And I bought a whole lot of houses just to fix and flip, and they never flipped. So I just lost millions of dollars. Like all of us. Yeah, and uh, there was probably a good month or two that I felt sorry for myself. I was drinking a lot, just doing the stuff you're not supposed to do. I just woke up one day and said, this is gonna happen. So I got back pushing myself into real estate here in, in the desert. And what happened is how the universe half works is that all my clients, because I, I lost my house in Palm Springs, mm -hmm. but of course my ego wouldn't allow me to do a short sale so that would save my credit. I thought I'd give it back to the bank. Right. Wrong. It's better to do a short sale, right. it's better on your credit. So ironically what I did is I started working with people that were losing their houses <laughs> and I shared my story. So guiding them to short sale, not foreclose, and I built it up again. You know, so, not so to where I was in my past, but at least where I was living and I wasn't, you know, miserable and I lost like forty pounds after that because I was so miserable all the time I gained all this weight. Wow. And um, and then I met my partner at the time, Mark, who's also from the Midwest, Wisconsin, Chicago, and Midwest he was a chef. Midwest people are the best. The best. Uh, he was a chef, and I'm like, you know what, I'm going to go back to what I'm really passionate about, because in Chicago, prior to real estate, I owned two bars and a, a, a restaurant, all very successful, and I'm like, I'm going to go back to what I'm passionate about. So I met Mark, I'm like, oh, he's a chef, on the front of the house, marketing, perfect. Within seven months later, we were working on Trio. And now, Mark is longer in the business, but he's doing his own thing. And almost eight years now, Trio has been striving and just a huge part thriving. of the community. Yes, yeah. it, it, it is. So Trio is thriving and you're thriving also in many, many ways. So yes. what I want everyone to know about is that your restaurant doesn't just serve consistent, amazing food with great customer service. You also are a host for so many community resources. So I, I understand that you give back 6% of 60%. all- 60%. 60%. of all proceeds for Dining for Life. That's correct. Wow. Yeah. And so you, you, you make all this money for- One night, we donate 60% of it to, to the charity. That's so, amazing. You know, I was taught really young, but I had some great mentors in my life. Not so much my family, but other people that took a liking to me and helped me. That when you give, you always give back more. Right. And, you know, because Palm Springs is such a small community, uh, when I was moving to Palm Springs, my friend said, what are you moving to Palm Springs? You're living in Chicago, you're going to a small town. And I said, well, maybe I could be a, a big fish in a small pond. Right. You know, and I'm a far cut from a big fish compared to some of the people that live here, but I always really want to be part of a community, and I'm very proud to be part of Palm Springs. And, uh, of what I have we built the last seven, eight years. That's so amazing. So here, once again, you help people thrive themselves in so many different ways. And really that, in my opinion, is what a thriver is. Yeah. They don't just decide to help themselves. They decide, once they've helped themselves, how they can help others. Well, and, and I brought that to the restaurant too because I have staff that started as dishwashers and now they're bartending or they're servers. Or, or, so, you know, if someone wants to go to the next level and they're willing to, Yes, yes. I will help them. 
but many people say they want to do something, but then they don't really want to do it. Right. So I've learned over the years that they make sure they're committed, and then if they're committed, I can help them get to somewhere they want to be. Exactly. You know, so right. You can't you can't lead everybody to that, but no. We're here to lead the people that are willing to be led. Yes. Right. Yes. Wow. Thank you so much You're for welcome. your time today, you. Tony. This Thank has you. been really great, and I just I'm so excited that people get to know a deeper part of you. Thank you. Yes. And in 2018, right now we're sitting at 8C3, Restaurant and Bar, yes, which I know. is my we... newest creation with um, Andrew and Juliana Coffee, and we're very excited to be down the valley and working together. Well, I'm very excited. Sorry, that... I'm throw that in. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> of course, I'm very excited that you're down the valley, too, since this is literally right around the corner from yeah. my house. So, yeah. Well, don't to... forget about Trio. <laughs> no, I can't. I can't forget about Trio. That's and right. I can't wait to be at the orange carpet party. Oh, that's right. Hollywood's biggest night. Another another place that you give back to the community. Yeah, that's for AAP. Amazing. Well, thank you well, so much. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Alrighty. Big yeah, bless you. I know. Yes. <laughs> All right. Thank you. I'm Elizabeth Garcella, and I'm here for live TV. And don't just survive when you can thrive. Just blow dries will blow you away. us for an experience that will leave you feeling sassy and sexy. Just Blow Dries on El Paseo. Open seven days a week. Brunch a go-go from 10 a.m. Saturday and Sunday. The happiest happy hour, 11 to 7 daily. Get a three-course dinner for just $19.99. Trio! We're always happy to see you. Trio, where Palm Springs eats. Welcome to Wangs in the Desert. Try a smoking dragon martini. We feature unparalleled talent like these amazing artists, Ms. Janine Francis and Mr. Alex Santana. Just wanted to get kind of your input on, on things, and yeah. Yeah, confirming that uh, Morgan Brittany is going to be joining us as well. So. Yeah, we need to just talk about that, and maybe we can bring her in on a conference call if you could uh, patch her through. Great, great. Okay. Awesome, Thanks, awesome. Michael. Steven says, uh, as soon as you know, give us a call. Okay. Thanks, Michael. Bye -bye. Magazine TV. Today we have the Filmmakers Gallery, Paul Basito and Stephen Roach. Guys, when did you guys first meet? How did that happen? 
Wow, uh, we met in Long Beach, actually, at a place that still exists called Ripples. Love Ripples. 2008. 2008 for Bear Ten Bar. Right, Bear Bar. And now Bear Bar actually takes place here at Hunter's, uh, which love is it. so cool for, for, for Fridays, which we love every Friday. It's a yes. huge crowd. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. We come here to promote what we do on Fridays as well as other groups here, like Among Friends, and, and we just have a blast. Great community here. And I hear there might be a party here for you guys special in, in August. Something's brewing about that. That's here. right. August That's is right. brewing. Um, the uh, Beals of Grey Gardens is brewing August 11th. Uh, that that's to come uh, in the hot summer month of August. Um, with uh, go ahead, and Jerry take it away. Torrey, uh, and also uh, Tony Mayetta, mm -hmm. who co-wrote the book uh, The Marble Fawn of Grey Gardens. So. Great film. There we go. So tell us a little bit about what's going to happen here with yours, mine, and ours. What a great film that that is. Lucille Ball and the whole cast yeah, is amazing. It stars Lucille Ball and Henry Fonda, and we're uh, hosting a 50th anniversary screening at the Palm Springs Cultural Center on uh, Saturday, July 14th, starting at 5 p.m. And uh, Michael Stern is going to be our guest moderator, and he's going to be awesome. signing copies of his book, I Had a Ball, uh, My Friendship with Lucille Ball. And then our other special and guest he's is the writer. actress Morgan Brittany. He is the he's writer. The, he's the writer, yeah, and he's actually Lucille Ball's number one number fan. Number one fan. I love it. Still is to this day, and he'll be um, actually bringing some great memorabilia he will have for sale, so anybody could purchase that in addition to coming to the event, of course. And um, Morgan Brittany will be there, the actress um, in the film, as Stephen just previously she said. Which child did she play? One of the younger ones. She's one of, no, she's one of the one older ones. One she older. has this very distinctive 60s headband she wears it. throughout the yeah. whole thing. Different, I think, different kinds of headbands. But yeah. that's People need to order these tickets pretty quick because this is selling out rather fast. Isn't pretty it? quick. It is. The VIP uh, tickets are going very fast, and I always urge people to please do the VIPs as soon as you can because once that room's yeah, filled, exactly. they, they cut such, it off. Such an iconic movie. Thank you guys for bringing that to Palm Springs. Oh. Well, we look forward to seeing more and hearing more about the Filmmakers Gallery. Paul Basito, Stephen Roach, we love you in Palm Springs. Thank you guys Thank for being here. We love Live Magazine TV. Thank you guys for and doing the best. Bye-bye. Yep. Thank Bye -bye. you guys. Bye -bye.